All right, welcome back. Happy Thursday. I have some breaking news uh, about Windows 10 again. It's not good. Another, um, this is another unscheduled live event. A <laughs> surprise. Um, it's important uh, if you are using Windows. So we'll give this a few minutes, see how many people jump in the chat, then we'll wrap this up for this evening. Yeah, this came off the news wire. Uh, I, I wanted to post this before, show you this before, but I had to wait for Caden Live to render, render a video I did about uh, Neptune OS. So that's finally done. So we'll give this a few minutes. And um, yeah, if anybody's out there, uh, please do say hello. Music is from the YouTube Audio Library, as usual. Free stuff, free music, check it out. Welcome Windows users. <laughs> Although you may not be too happy today, but uh, yeah. I hear ya. Hello Princess Undertaker, TJ Wolf. What's up, man? Matthew Keller. Hello, hello, hello. Um... I know, I know we talk a lot about Linux here, that's fine, but if we do have any newbies out there, please do stop by and say hello. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about Windows, um, you're always welcome here. I still use Windows, so even though I talk a lot about Linux, I still use Windows. So uh, for Windows users out there who tried Linux and didn't like it, that, that's okay. You are still welcome to these live shows. Um, I, under, I understand, I get it. Uh, Massacore, what's up? Glad you shut off the update service and disabled any scheduled tasks. I could try. I could that it tries to start again. Yeah, it's. We'll talk about this here shortly. I. It's not been a good year for MS. I don't know what's going on. I'll be quite honest. Um, Windows 7 was a lot better, more simpler. It's that simple. All things considered. Just my personal thoughts about this. So, again, this was an unscheduled live event, but this is too important, so I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, let's see what you think. If you want to laugh and rant, well, now's your chance. So, uh, Tony, Tony, hello. You're a Linux user. Great. So am I. I use Ubuntu Mate. Awesome, awesome. In fact, let's transition here. If we do have any, uh, if we do have any new people out there, I use Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Mate, as you see here, uh, OBS, um, to do all this, to screencast. So, um, I know a lot of YouTubers don't like to show this, and that's fine, but I do, just in case we have somebody new out there and wants to catch behind the scenes. So, here I could click transition and transition back and forth. Uh, maybe I'll do a little tutorial about this one night or something, how to... OBS Studio for newbies or something like that, so. You're still on 1803 Massacore? Okay, cool. Very good. And there's the playlist there to the left. Chip Catalano, what's up, Chip? What's this? Florida State Senate race recount triggered. Goody. Anyway. I haven't, um, I don't think it affects me, this latest Windows problem, but, um, anyway, we'll get to that news article here in a second. Um,. Those of you who like the live streams <clears throat> and would like these to continue, uh, consider supporting the channel. I, I, I need to make a decision here by the end of the year what to do with the channel and the live streams. All the support links are below in the show notes. Uh, so check them out. <clears throat> and uh, if you like these live streams to continue, then we could use your support. Um, 
Cora says, hello, Room. Hello, Mr. Room. How are you? That's why you couldn't say anything else, is it? I had it set to top chat. Ah, yes. Yeah, OBS is good. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my good old pal, friend, companion. <laughs> Look at my computer and then look to a goofy toss streaming back end. Yes. Yes, whenever I'm, I'm feeling down depressed, Tim always has kind, loving things to say. A goofy. <laughs> well, I know goofy. I don't, I don't know what the goofy is, but that's okay. <laughs> Windows 10 is a train wreck. Well, it, it, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know, Kenny. I, I don't know. You know, first the problem was Windows 10 updates, deleting your files, but saving your empty folders. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, let's get to the article. <clears throat> we'll just go from there, so... Save this like this. And we'll just get to the art. And this is bad. Okay, from Forbes, Microsoft warns Windows 10 is a serious problem. Really? Well, it says here, uh, despite introduction of new monthly charges, uh, the number of high-profile incidents with updates, including one which deletes users' personal data. Have you backed up, by the way? Have you backed up again and again? Microsoft's activation servers have started accidentally downgrading downgrading expensive Windows 10 Pro systems into cheaper Windows 10 home PCs. Hey, maybe home PCs are more reliable. They are invalidating their licenses. Ouch. Okay. I know what all Windows 10 Pro users are thinking. This is what they're thinking. Ready? One, two, three. Wah! Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, after updating to Insider Build 18277, my Windows 10 digital license became invalid. Uh, I don't understand. No hardware changes. Nothing has changed. I don't know what to do. Uh, one of the three-year-old Lenovo Yogas <laughs> just decided to throw error. Okay, Windows activation error. Same issue on Dell computers. Microsoft's response. <sighs> hmm. Maybe they should hire me as a customer service complaint representative. You know. Uh, Windows 10 has a quality control problem. No. What makes you think that? Uh, on the official answers page, Microsoft warns there is a temporary issue with the activation server. Okay, look, look. I will not read the rest of this. All you Windows users out there, to be serious, I don't care if you use Windows Home, Pro, you need a backup operating system. You need you must have a backup operating system if you can't use Mac because it is cost prohibitive buy yourself a ThinkPad between two and three hundred bucks with four gigs of RAM install a form of Linux that is easy to use like what I use that way if you have any issues with Windows 10 you have a fairly reliable stable Linux backup to do what you need to do Hopefully, at this point, Windows 10, even though I have not had any issues, cannot be totally trusted. Get a backup machine. It doesn't have to be high tech. Install Linux on it, and who knows, you might find yourself switching. I'm not saying to delete Windows. That's not what I said. I am not saying to delete Windows. But at this point, after so many issues here late in the year, there is, a, there is a quality control problem. You need a backup OS. So that's my solution to all of this. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even know it was even possible for Windows to downgrade. Yeah, well, that's how ta talented Microsoft is. 
Uh, yep. True, I should read it. Yeah, well, you know, it, it never ends. I, I don't know what's going on. Hello, AJ. Cobalt Linux. What's up? Um, it's, well, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't affect me. So you're tempted to switch again to Linux, even though a lot of stuff works more, it is more compatible with Windows. Well, you, you, you don't have to erase or delete Windows, Massive Core. Just, just have a backup operating system. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, thumbs up the video. Again, if, if, if you can't support the live streams, I could use your help. Check out the links below in the show notes. All right. Uh, just admitted toss. I just did, didn't I? <laughs> you was baited into Windows 10 free upgrade. No, the free upgrade's fine, Massacore. I did that multiple machines, and it's fine. I don't have a problem, personally. Uh, you can't even make a new folder anymore. Ouch. Goofy, uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, Landon. Should have used GNU Linux. Hello, Noah. Quails. Hello, Thomas. Thomas Joyner. Um, happened to you this morning. Microsoft fixed it now. Oh, really? That soon? Wow. Okay. Hello, Anselm. You fixed two laptops with this problem today. I just went to activation and used the troubleshooter. Ah. Well, it appears to be an easy fix. Uh, Kenny? Right? Hello, Benjamin. You have a second Linux lap, bla laptop for backup. Yes. Um, 1803, the dreaded 1809, I know. They'll probably make this into, into a movie. <laughs> this is the first problem you have with 1809. Okay, all right. I'll say it, delete Windows. Well, uh, I would back it up just in case you change your mind. Is the activation server the only Windows problem today. Who knows? No, I think there's another problem actually, Tom. Uh, Windows 10 is not saving your default settings. Yeah, not as serious as the other problem, but yeah. Uh, proof you don't own anything Windows related. Uh, yes. Windows 10 for gaming? Nothing wrong with that. I hear you. Uh, hello, AJ. Uh, 1809 also has a bug that decreases the screen brightness to 50% at random. Really? Well, makes sense because it's only 50% reliable. But a bump bump. Uh, yeah. So, really, ah, just just have a backup operating system. Probably should anyway, right? Just in case. Hello, Graham Linux. Every time with us. A 10 updates that breaks your system, spend hours fixing. Well, uh, yeah, like, like I said, I haven't had those issues on my machines, at least not yet. Of course, I don't use Windows 10 as often as I used to. It's my backup operating system right now. But for people who need it for what they do or for work or whatever, you, you need a back. I mean, back up your contents anyway. And yeah, I. I mean, at this point, that's my solution. It is easy to fix after Microsoft fixed the activation server. Okay, all right. You're testing the Windows version of Dark Table. Feel the power of the dark side. Uh, for one of your viewers that is having problems with the creating black bloops. Bl bl <laughs> it's been a lot of black bloops, blob, not bloops. Oh, demonetize. I don't care at this point. <laughs> Black blobs. Oh my god. <sighs> on the image on Windows version. Oh my goodness. Uh, it isn't... Yeah, not saying to delete unless you absolutely need Windows for game professional. Yeah. Yeah, now for those people who need it for work or whatever... Look, just buy a second machine, inexpensive, try Linux, see if you can live with it. So, let's see what happens. Hello, KO2610. Tom, you have a Windows 10 phone. Wow. Nice. Windows 10 broke Steam for months. Oh, it broke that specific... Okay, no, I haven't had any broken systems with... Uh, 
with Windows. Um, so I, I don't know. You know, I guess those phone calls from Sicily are helping. <laughs> um, disable the Windows Update service for about a couple of months. Okay. Hi, Larita. Hello, darling. How are you? Um, oh, favorite people. Oh, the chill after a hard day at work, so shows are off. Pajamas are on, a blanket and working, so talk away. Nice. I'm wearing my uh, red Toscini. Does it match your red pajamas? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello, my Russian friend. How are you? I trust other Linux partition to uh, back up. Yes, Linux partition is your backup OS. Yes, mm -hmm, sure. Uh, hello, Kyrie. Matthew Moore, Manjaro Master. Microsoft isn't ever going to get it right. Well, they got Windows 7 right. They got the Halo games right. They got the Xbox right. They, they, they can do it. They can do it, but... I don't know what's up with Windows 10. Um, yeah. Ryan McConkey. Ryan, are you new to the stream? If you are, we have a custom. We have to say hello to anybody new. So welcome, Ryan. Uh, LTSB version of Windows doesn't have any problems like the recent ones. Ah. It only gets major featured updates once every three years and supported for 10 years. Yes, yes. Matthew's more recommendation is to get a pirated version of L LTSB with multiple backdoors and root kits, and that'll solve your problem. <laughs> um, how much does it, the LTSB cost? Just out of curiosity. Uh... You bought an IC dock with two drive bays? Good, good, good. <laughs> Your pajamas are not, they are gray with snowflakes. Well, red, gray, I, th I think that's a good match. Hmm? <laughs> I know my Russian friend, it's all right. Spasiba, thank you for joining the stream. <laughs> Read Tim's comments. <laughs> there goes your turkey burger, cottage cheese. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, hello, Robert. I'm alive. Yes. Tony. Paul, my good friend. How are you, Paul? Scola Buckshot. Okay. Welcome, Scola. Everybody say hello to Scola. Use Windows only for gaming and Linux Mint on day to day. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I use Windows for gaming, yeah. I don't do a lot of gaming in Linux. I don't have a higher end PC, but maybe one of these days. Oh, fine. Anna and Tim can be pajama buddies, but not me. Jeez, what did I say? Ah, oh, boy. The Microsoft that made Windows 10 isn't the same Microsoft. Windows 7, totally different people. Yes, Matthew, that's probably the problem. Uh, Windows 7 still works. If you have Windows 7, don't don't upgrade. Um, yeah. Ryan, you are new. Everybody, please, please say hello to Ryan McConkey. He is new to the streams. Welcome aboard, sir. Come on, give it up for Ryan. I'm not going to say another word till you say hello, Ryan. And hello, Squala. Yes, yes. Matt broke up with Manjaro in favor of Debian. Yes, he wasn't he wasn't treating Manjaro with enough uh, champagne and roses. <laughs> Ryan, what do you use? <laughs> okay, Anna. <laughs> uh, uh, you don't need a high end PC for game. Well, you kind of do, yeah. You kind of do. Yeah. 
I've tried gaming with the low-end PC. It's possible, but it, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Ryan. Come on. There we go. Wayne Baker. Hello, Wayne. How are you? You kicked it with a steel-toed boot. Aha. Ryan, what do you use? Don't be shy. You, you can tell us. If you use Mac, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Use Arch Linux with I really Arch Linux with I wow, Matt. What do you think about that Arch Linux? I, I don't think you're a newbie, Ryan. Are you to the world of Linux? If you're using Arch, I bet I bet Arch Linux with I three zips, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Snappian. I kind of like that. Snap with Debian Snap. Yeah, Snappian. Mm -hmm. Uh, your PC is 10 years old. I can play most games on just not on high settings. Yeah, yeah, just not on high. That's true. But yeah, my eyes are not what they used to be. So if I can't cannot play it on high resolution, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm due for a new PC. I mean, this, these these are just outdated. I had to wait. I had to render uh, a, a 10 minute video on Neptune. It took about like 22 minutes. It takes too long. Yep, you need a bucket and a half of RAM to even think of gaming. That is true. Uh, you game with a second gen i5, 8 gig of RAM, GTX 1050 Ti. Yeah, that's that's doable, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ryan, you're getting your very first SSD tomorrow. Well, I got mine last month. There, awesome, awesome. <laughs> No, I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing the sweatpants, but no tall skinny. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But see, maybe you know, maybe you know, maybe Tim, I should do a tall skinny marathon. <laughs> maybe that's the way to get some more support for the channel. I gotta, I gotta go like you know, risque out there. You know, <laughs> it'll probably be just the opposite. Oh God, what happened to toss? Anyway. You can chat because you're at work, but I will be listening. Very, very good. By the way, uh, Tim, I got your email. Me and Tim may co-host a show tomorrow afternoon. You know, the Thank Toss, it's Friday. Shows I do Friday nights. We're thinking about doing it tomorrow afternoon. Um, topic is technology addiction. Uh, a rather serious topic. I mean, we'll, we'll try to keep it light, but it is a serious topic. So, any thoughts here of anybody that can join tomorrow afternoon instead of tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, so Friday. For the Thank Toss, it's Friday show. It would be like... I uh, like 2 p.m. my time, Eastern time, New York time. So just to let you guys know. So, uh, but that's where we're at, Tim. Yeah. Uh, Spatchy's ThinkPad. Yes, I have multiple ThinkPads. They are terrific. Absolutely play nicey nice with Linux, at least in my tests. So, um, <laughs> um, I, I, um, technology addiction, Anarita. That would be the topic. Tim, I, uh, I have good luck buying tall men's pants, sweatpants, you know, at the JC Penney's. Uh, this video is not sponsored by JC Penney's, full disclosure. Although they are, they are welcome to. Now, I, I, I buy tall men's shirts, like that blue one, the pink one. I think I wear the pink one for Stephanie's. I can't remember. Maybe the blue one. I can't remember. But, yeah, no, they're tall men's pants for us tall guys, 6'2 and above. And anyway, thank you, J. 
JC Petty's it's the only store left in the mall. Sears is gone. Uh, Macy's is gone. Oh boy. For the love of Linux, you'll be there or be square. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll post, uh, look for the announcement tomorrow to be sure. All AAA games are only about graphics. Except for gameplay, I can play hundreds of hours. Rim, rim world without getting bored. Okay, all right. Open after 1 p.m. my time. Okay, very good, Tim. I'll confirm with you tomorrow. Uh... I do not have the issue as I try to balance things up, watch my, and use my technology tool. Okay, Anarita. Yep, check out Matthew Moore's Tech Cafe. Here we go with coffee again. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I actually deleted my websites. It was, it was the blogs and I had two of them. I just deleted, it's just too much work. I may go just uh, redo, just, you know, redo one, but yeah. You guys know how to reach me, so. Um, you love your ThinkPad R50 with Linux. The Dell isn't bad either. Yes, Dell does play, place, place, play nice with Linux. Um. So yeah, getting back to the topic at hand, uh, it looks like this is easily fixable, great, but I would still, besides backing up your contents, I would still have a backup machine with a backup operating system. You don't have to spend a lot of money, so. Um, for a name like JCPenney's, they don't seem to be as cheap as your, well, I, it's, it's, it's somewhere between. It's not like low-end like Walmart. It's not high-end like, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue. And I've, I've had good luck. Uh, so, in fact, those two shirts I bought this summer, I bought extra large. They have not shrunk. If I would have known that, I would have bought large, but that's okay. You know, I plan to work out and build some muscles to make Anna Rita happy, you know. Uh, it's techcafe.webs. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, yeah. Thanks for, yeah. Uh, thank you, Tim. Uh, Tim has been very, very generous to support the channel. Every dollar that I take in by you, uh, Tim is going to match every single dollar. So thank you. That would be uh, pay tra pay PayPal. I can't talk tonight. It's been a long day. Well, I've been up since two in the morning. PayPal, Patreon, uh, Super Chats. Tim is going to match all the contributions to the channel. Tim, thank you. And God bless you. And God bless all of you. Um, uh, uh, Broadcom, Dell uses Broadcom Wi Fi. I didn't know that, Matthew. Okay. <laughs> I thought we got to get some peanuts to eat. We'll blame it on whoever mentioned coffee. Yes. That was Matt with the cafe. Yeah. Well, no, it was the best. Then Asus after that. Okay. Yeah. I use... Uh, what do I use? Well, currently for this, I'm using a gateway. Yes, I need to build my muscles. Yeah, so I look better on screen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, what I can do is when I have bit bigger forearms, I'll put a, a Windows tattoo on my left arm, a fake tattoo, Linux on the right, and in the middle, I'll have, I'll have a Mac tattoo, as in, you know, Big Mac, yeah. But a bump. Uh, what was I going to say? But no, I have two currently working, th well, three ThinkPads, but the one has less than a gig of RAM. Yeah, they play very nice with Linux. Um... So if you are a newbie out there, want to buy a second machine, don't spend a lot of money. Just make sure it has four gigs of RAM, ThinkPad, and you should be good to go. To that person who's going to buy an SSD, if you're going to have two drives in your desktop, I highly recommend you disconnect the drive to the Windows side so you don't accidentally delete your Windows partition. 
Now, if you have an IC dock, then I think there's a sw two switches in front. Yeah. But they have st started putting Amazon ads in the dash. I went to Fedora. Keep jumping, trying to find that that wasn't a media codex. Uh, okay, yeah. You don't like to see... Well, Anna Rita, like, when I say muscles, I don't mean, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger ball. I mean, like, you know, fit and, fit and trim muscles, you know. Like, uh... Like, uh... Like Bruce Lee muscles. How does how does that sound? Yeah. It's too latte to mention coffee. But a ba 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 Thank you, Chip. <laughs> or thank you, Massacore. Good evening, Steven Anderson. How are you? Um, yeah, didn't somebody buy Gateway? Was that HP? I don't know. I mean, this is five years old, still works, and it plays nice with Linux, so. Uh, I'm going to end this stream probably at 9 p.m. Another 15 minutes. Just give a heads up. <laughs> the muscle's overrated. Yeah. Who cares about the six-pack? Mm -hmm. You got the whole keg. <laughs> Here's Timmy. <sighs> Hello, CJ. Chicago is my kind of town. CJ, did you fix your ThinkPad? Error thingy code whatever it was. Get to the get to the Jabba. But see, a Burger King should hire Arnold. Get to the Wapa. Luis Lonson. Hello, Luis. Is this your first time? You using OBS? See, some people use slobs. Streamlabs. OBS. You know slobs. But okay, well, never mind. Hello, Luis. <laughs> uh, yeah. Compact bucket? I really don't know. Metal Lord, so what's wrong with Windows? Uh, they are... The MS servers are downgrading people's Windows Pro systems by accident. So, yeah, that's been the problem. Besides their other problems. We are here to pump you up. Yes, that's right. Again, for all the newbies, if we have any newbies in the house, I'm using Ubuntu Mate. And uh, as you all know, OBS to do all this. Music from the YouTube Audio Library and Audacious Lightweight Music Player for Linux. Uh, everybody like my new wallpaper? I, I like it. You, know, you start off your day with the rising sun, a little bit of the toss today, you know, tech coffee, as it were. Yeah, right, yeah. That's right, Anna Rita, yes. Mm -hmm. It's all just Foxconn stuff anyway. Yeah, I suppose so. You would use Mint if I need stability, okay? Well, you guys voted Linux Smith as the number one distro. No, you you guys are an eclectic bunch. A couple years ago, you voted Arch as the best distro, not for newbies. Linux Mint for newbies, of course. So yeah. Luis, you use Streamlabs OBS, so you use Slobs. Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ar Arnold's cool. You know, he's making Terminator Six. I'm back. <laughs> you are scared to turn on your desktop. It might update. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get yourself a backup system. OBS won't run under Linux on your... Really? Why? 
Uh, oh, the GP. Yeah, that depends on the age. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Yes. Yeah, well, I know. Multimedia still struggles in Linux in general. Um. Hello, Joe Johnson. Hello, welcome. Joe Johnson is an avid Windows 10 lover. He uses it 24-7. It keeps him at peace. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, Joe? <laughs> uh... You tried Mint, CJ, and you want to try another? Okay. I mean, if you want to try something different, try Ubuntu. As long as you have 4 gigs of RAM, and I think you do. Hello, Dan, what's up? MX-17. Ah, oh, you got to make Joe happy. Yeah, Arnold is still making action movies. I'll be back to terminate Windows 10. <laughs> It's great to be here in California. <laughs> that does hurt my throat a little bit, yeah. Yes, yes, backup, absolutely. You know, people ask what kind of software I use to back. You don't need software to back up, just drag and drop. It works, you know, I got multiple external hard drives and there you go, so yeah. You know, you don't think you can pick an overall best. Well, the, the best is the one that works. So if Arch works, look, we've, we've, we've talked about a national Linux desktop. We should call it Andromeda OS. I don't care what it's based on. Arch, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Debian, just make sure it works because Mr. and Mrs. Consumer won't care. So you're welcome, Joe. I am digging this music I downloaded from YouTube. It's cool. T40 ThinkPad, 8 gigs. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine to install Ubuntu, yes. Um, well, there's Ubuntu derivatives for the love of Linux. Um, you know, you don't know what's going to work until you try to marry that specific distro to your specific hardware. And that's the reality of it. I've had good luck with Ubuntu based for whatever it's worth. Uh, so that's good for me. Anybody been to the Buddy Guys in Chicago? I have not. What's up, Posh? Yeah. Kubuntu, uh, you know, Kubuntu was not user friendly. It's just, not. I think Zubuntu is more, I think Lubuntu. It is not. Kubuntu with plasma is loaded, but it is just not user friendly as what it should be. So I'm going to probably upload that Neptune OS video tomorrow. How do you get your CPU fan to slow down and quit reporting 20, 45 degrees? Hook up a big stadium fan to it, Dan. <laughs> That's hot. The news on the screen is an app called Ticker. Uh, and I keep forgetting to do a little tutorial on this, but T... I, if I could spell. Ticker, T-I-C-K-R for both Linux and Windows. That's what's running. And you can add and delete, you know, feeds on it. Put it to top, bottom, but it's called Ticker, T-I-C-K-R. Linux Mint XFCE, yep, that is very fast. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah, I'm not sure about the heating of the fan there, Joe or uh, Dan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just, it could be, you know, look, look, when I installed my SSD, my computer told me that the temperature on it was over 212 degrees. It would have been melting, so obviously it's wrong, so. In fact, I wonder if it does it now. Can't be right. 210 degrees, huh? Whatever. Katie he has too many things to tinker with and tough to delineate, delineate how each other. F yeah, it is nice looking. Plasma is is beautiful. It just simplify, simplify, and they're not gonna do it. So, yeah, KDE should not be Plasma should not be the national Linux desktop. No way. Gee, nobody rubs my feet. <laughs> I need to get one of those scratchy mats like for cats and just rub my feet on it, you know? Anyway. Yeah, so that's the big news for tonight. But I guess it's been fixed or it's, it's easy to fix. So, anyway. Windows 10 settings are all over the place. That's true, but I don't think they're as confusing as, uh, as Plasma, in my opinion, yeah. All right, five minute warning, and I'll back, and I'll wrap this up for this evening. So, And where do I get a ticket to for for, for a foot rub? <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a cute little app. This ticker feed, it gets the job done. So yeah. Ooh, take hundred dollars off, hundred twenty eight gigabyte Apple iPad. Ooh. By the way, Tim, somebody bought that. Uh, the iPad Pro that's $14,000, uh, a high-end YouTuber, he bought it, I guess with his own money, he tested it, and while it is faster than his other $4,000 iPad, or I'm sorry, iMac, versus the iMac Pro, that, that's what I meant to say, he bought the, the high-end high iMac Pro, and while it is state-of-the-art and faster, to render videos, he said it was not worth the price gap between that and the four or five thousand dollar iMac Pro. Yeah, you feel like you are in an uh, elevator. Oh, <laughs> why is that? <laughs> Let's go back to the blues. I like the blues. I got the blues, baby. I know CJ likes this song, so I'll play for him. Then I need some water, because I've been talking like Arnold Paul. You 
can now put Linux on a new Mac Pro. I, why would you? I mean, you buy a high, high end expensive machine, I wouldn't touch it. I mean, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'll just keep it the way it is. You know. So, yeah. Hello, Mega Beast. All right, two minute warning, and I'm gonna wrap this up. So anything else for this tonight? And I guess we'll catch you guys tomorrow afternoon unless something else pops up, but I should be free, I think. Do I have a doctor appointment? I don't think so. Played for a couple blues bands, okay. <laughs> Not worth it. Um. What the guy did, Tim, he edited like high-end 4K videos, I think. It it sputtered a little bit with the low-end machine, smooth as silk with the higher-end machine. He just didn't think it was worth the price gap. It isn't like, well, you know, the difference to, the, the, the differences between four or five thousand, but not four and fourteen, no. No, that's it's no. Yeah. Not worth it. So he sticks with his $4,000 iMac Pro. Micron kicks off mass production 12 gigabyte DRAM chips. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Cisco removed its seventh backdoor account this year. Oh. Okay. Is there a football game tonight? Football Thursday night football? I think there is. Anyway. I need to call my dad this weekend too, see how he's doing. I talked to him last weekend. And anyway. gonna show up on time well part of it's my fault CJ I don't have a set schedule I try to but it's it's rough um, I'm gonna try and do one daytime stream during the week like we did yesterday I think yeah so people overseas can join in when it's not you know late late I agree, Tim. You could buy decent used cars. Have enough for a machine. Yeah, I totally agree, Tim. Yeah, totally agree. Somebody gave me fourteen thousand to spend. I would buy. Uh, I like the Buicks. I might buy like a Buick Enclave. You've probably seen them. Nice luxury vehicle, fairly reliable. You know, like for ten, twelve thousand. And then have a couple thousand left over for a computer, and I would be perfectly happy. Yeah. Um, Retrainer Panther Steelers. Oh, I'm fans of neither. Okay. Oh, well, might catch anyway. Yeah. Pittsburgh is up. Okay. Well, I'm close to Pittsburgh, about 30 minutes away. So, all right. Yeah, I'm a Cowboy fan. Des Bryant got picked up by the Saints. Yeah. Oh, well. You work, only really see your live too late. Love your weekend. Yeah, uh, CJ, it's it's with these different time zones. It's, it's going to be tough to please or to catch everybody with one show. Ideally... I think the perfect schedule would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, something like that, and have 
at least one show, or, or if it's a, a, a request, one show during the day, like yesterday, where Stephanie joined in, CJ, yes. Uh, Stephanie was on yesterday, just in the chat. Uh, but she has agreed to come back for an encore concert. Performance probably after Thanksgiving sometime. She's flying back before Thanksgiving. Her family is from Boston area. Uh, CJ, so yeah, she is definitely coming back, and great to have her back. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me shut down the ticker here. I'm just about gonna wrap this up. <laughs> yes, that's the new franchise team. Uh, based. <laughs> It's based out of Florida. It's the new NFL Traders. That's right. The new football team. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I need to grab some hydration food. Hydration in my throat. Because I talk too much like Otto Baldo. Well, if there's nothing else, I am done for this evening. As always, thank you so much for joining. Always a pleasure to chat with you guys and girls. Let's keep doing this to the new year if we can, shall we? Yeah. I hate to give this up, so. Um, all right. That's it. Something comes up. You guys know how to...